see the flames in my glasses. That's an epic fire. Ten minutes to boom. That other campsite, the first one we stopped in, has been taken. We literally got here with perfect timing and the luck to get the best spot. Like Riverside. Riverside, the only one. Ah, so happy. <laughs> Are you having fun over there? Little tree forest dog. Beast mode. Oh yeah! <laughs> I'm a generous lover. Weird. It's always been like one swipe from one end to the other. I don't have to go inside to cook outside. All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. I'm standing on the wrong side of the fire. Oh yeah. And the beans? <laughs> it's a vibe. <laughs> the forest, the snow. It is so beautiful. <laughs> Was that good? From the fish people, fishing people? Fish Hi everybody, it is so amazing to be out here in the middle of nowhere, the wildernessy area, up by the mountains, camping and having fires and just catching up on life and talking to Amanda. It has been so refreshing and a really nice reconnect of our friendship. Um, I have been, in the meantime, hard at work on making another octopus hat. So the Kraken Octo hat will be ready, I think in a week or so, which will be exciting and I can't wait to show it to you. 
Amanda and I also bought some beautiful, really cute uh, natural fiber bamboo clothing. Uh, and we look like freaking forest elves of different, so I might be a fire elf and Amanda an air or water elf. Like it's totally the right colors. It looks so freaking beautiful and it's really nice to be wearing warm natural fiber clothing um, on our bodies. And the other thing we're gonna do today is go for a walk along the beach and pick up as many pieces of wood that we can to make an epic fire tonight. Mm, probably a little larger than the fire pit fire we had last night. It's gonna be really, really nice. So just fueling up with some snacks. Frank's tucked into bed, nice and toasty warm. And we'll get going really soon. Unfortunately, this one will not see us coming, but he's so big. He's way bigger than the ones I was just filming. I can't get enough of those. Just went on a really long walk all along the water the riverfront and it was beautiful got to see the salmon in the water and then did a loop back down through the forestry road it was beautiful and it felt like each little space we went into felt like another world like it was the world of the fish and the water fairies and then we went into the scrub and the brush and saw the abandoned car so it was like a flashback to another point in history <laughs> feel like a forest detective oh wow point in history and then we kept walking and found this little fairy trail which felt like the forest pixies were totally leading us on a wild goose chase or leading us astray to go find some something magical or to take advantage of us lost in the forest fairies will do anything to get their mischievous ways
Exactly. Plants talk, yeah. creatures talk. I think once upon a time humans were more in tune to be able to hear. Who are you? What are you burying in the middle of the forest? And then we cut back through and along one of the channels where it was all frozen, ice absolutely everywhere. Um, and it was about a five and a half K walk, I think. So a decent part of it was bushwhacking and yeah, my body feels good, warm, my joints feel warmed up. Has just receded. And then we got back and we were absolutely starving. So we've just finished lunch. And my dear little friend here, you were just napping the whole time, weren't you? Napping the whole time. This is Frank's seat. Come likes to sit here when he comes to visit. Should we get you a treat? Pay your actors. Is that really good? Do you like the seats? This is like 10 inches of high quality foam that you're sitting on. Is that good? Yeah. Do, 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 No, you're a good boy. Was it good, Frank? Was it tasty? <laughs> Happy dog. Yeah, I just had some mango as an after after dinner uh, appetizer. The fire is going. It's cozy in here. <sighs> we just beachcombed for this epic haul of logs and firewood, some of which we spent a whole lot of time hand sawing, hand sawing painstakingly, and I'm very rosy faced from the effort yeah amanda has a master plan of how best to organize it to create biggest fire in a fire ring possible <laughs> that's the goal yep. Tonight. yep it's gonna be amazing i'm very much looking forward to it deep strategy
Nice. Amazing. You can see the flames in my glasses. That's an epic I'm fire. I'm at the right angle. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was like 10 minutes. 10 minutes to... Um, like to... <laughs> Boom! Leaving it forward. I don't know, like, I don't know how to verbalize, like, all my fire techniques, but I've, like, gotten pretty good at, like, conducting it. Yeah. Like, I started it there, I moved it that way, and then I moved it this way, and now I'm moving it this way. Yeah. Coming further towards us while creating, like, deep red embers yeah. so far back. Those giant thick pieces you put in. Oh, there. yeah. I put those on. Might get a spoon and stir it. Great time! <laughs>